Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign. My name is Ben Pope. This is Total War Attila. And uh, I was looking around at what is happening around the world of Attila. And first off, there's a lot of desolation. And we're going to scroll all the way to here to the last settlement of the Gathurgians. Um They're being besieged by Avastja. And there's Huns right there. And looks like they just don't have much going on. And uh, thanks to Dresden, Dresden's, um, what's it called, mod that adds all the diplomatic options. Um, the Gathurgians are same blood, they're um, a nomadic, sort of uh, more gothic I believe, at least that's what they are portrayed as here. They're not German uh, necessarily. A lot of them have many other... Yeah, so anyway, uh, the Visigoths are the only other ones that are same blood. So the Gothurgians look like are um, gladly willing to join my confederation. Now the only thing that happens when I do that is I'll lose that income of 300 and I'll probably get myself into a fight. Um, but this is gonna spice things up for for us, for our our nation. We've been kind of building up over there, and we we were kind of just you know saving money for that next upgrade, for that next improvement. And um, last episode we confederated with a, a couple other tribes that were about to go extinct, um, and we grabbed those generals under our belt. So th there's a lot of options for us as far as generals go, um, and we're gonna go into that details a bit more but let's let's do it let's spice things up so by all the gods the word hoard is golden truth I agree with my heart and tongue to all you say so these guys have been uh, fighting us at the beginning of the, of the game uh, for a while and they gave us a lot of trouble but you know then they got totally destroyed they had land in Dacia and Sarmatia Europeana um, and so on but they, I mean they still have you know this they still had this region and now it's under our control so we just like that we and is this is this cheating I, I don't know I think it's it's not cheating at all sure the game doesn't have that as um, as an option they don't they don't have that um, you know built in uh, and this is something different but um, the the thing is, guys, is that the Huns are just um, the Huns are just taking over everything, and I mean, there's all this desolate land everywhere. And I've heard from other people saying, you know, it was it was fun to play, but it, then in the end, towards the end game, where you're like pretty strong, you don't have anyone to fight. It's just some Huns running around a bunch of desolate place, and you just end up capturing that. And there's not much, not many, not many people left to like trade with or or fight or anything. So, Chersonesis, we took over Chersonesis, and um, looks like we have a burg. There's a warrior shrine. Our income is just stupid now. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of mercenaries. Um, I'll do, our income is still stupid, I don't know what happened, let's see what is going on here, so, we should be making wealth, uh, the great hall, that's good, that's getting us some units that we didn't have access to before, uh, this is giving us priests, um I'm hoping all right so we might have to get rid of um something the vineyards we're going to keep we might get rid of this and convert it into um Into a granary, maybe? Uh, 
We definitely need to disband it. We either make our own type of church or we get something that gives us uh, sanitation. And I really don't know why our income is in such stupidity. Apparently I'm... These few units here. Is it these guys? Okay, artillery. Wow. So they don't say mercenary. Oh, they do. Okay, that is mercenary. So we disband that. Still doesn't make sense what our income went from positive 700 to negative 3,400 still. Okay, so we got ourselves into a big pickle. Um, we're going to go inside the town with these guys. And hopefully those guys are going to go away. And I'm going to have to use this fleet to um Your orders? Easy to sort of support. scout around and find more trade partners but eh. seriously <laughs> okay so um overall all the um the game is obviously not meant for some of these mods that have been implemented and probably they don't work 100% uh, one example is that if you were to go and um Raise forces. You'll have generals that like this guy. Um, he was a general uh, from a different nation that I confederated with, and he doesn't appear in the faction tab here, unless he does now. Okay, no, this guy is somebody that. Uh, we just got him. Uh, he was the leader of the other um, nation. And all these other guys are fine. So, Okay, as far as offices, we need to make a new governor. Uh, this guy is the High King of the Visigoths. He married one of our ladies. So we have Hilderic or Gainus. And I think... I think it's going to be our very own family member here. The other thing I was looking to do is possibly arrange some marriages. This lady has a ton of influence. I uh, don't know how she got that, many, that much influence at 23. Maybe from like, you know, going to all the dances and sitting in court. So we're going to arrange marriage for her. Looks like we can arrange marriage for... Let's see, guys. He's 40. He's 34, 36. Um, 37... I don't know which one of these guys will be better. Uh, let's look at for a second. I don't really show much. I know this guy has some cool stats. He's got a few levels already. Uh, let's see this guy. How about your stats? Okay, so he's got personal influence and whatnot. We better bring him in our family, although he's 40. I don't know, he might have a few kids and stuff. And, um, you know, so on. Be part of the family instead of the enemy. Um, we're going to do the edict. 
and we're gonna do um i kind of need a religious influence and uh, somehow we're gonna be on the verge of bankruptcy but that's okay probably should have spent that 400 coin Hopefully that money uh, glitch, whatever happened, will go away because it's not it's not cool. Um, it's not cool to have our income drop like that. I mean, we lost from the trade. We lost a, a bit, uh, but that should have been made up from uh, what um, income the city is creating. Uh, the city we just got, so I thought it would level up, but apparently that's not the case. Um, so, that town has gold. I might wage war out here, just to grab some gold. Looks like there's some rebel states up north. You have recruited so many units, the treasury is buckling under the weight of their upkeep. Capturing new territory would spread the cost, as well as putting your troops to good use. Okay, pilgrims. Uh, worshippers of Baldur gather in the nearby forest in their hundreds. It is certain that vile hate heathen rituals will take place there. Should we stop them? Engage in faction politics. Okay, the noble marriage has happened. And... Yes. Thirsty for battle. Um... So I made money somehow. Population surplus. I'm bankrupt, but I made money. Oh, jeez. Alright, so... Artillery gained. Let's look at him really quick. Warriors all. Is that you? Nope. It's Theodomir. And he is probably the general, the governor. Um, all right, so let's get rid of some of these uh, it might might help us all right, so they're not quite right is taking down his cunning, so we're gonna give him another cunning. And he's a general, so uh, we could do war chief. That would be nice to have. Let's do the less fatigue. Um, okay, so that's that. Uh, we were going to get rid of some of these units uh yeah and i suppose our is there our integrity is going down or something I'm really unsure. If I still make money next turn, uh, then it's just visually bugged and I probably should save and reload or something. Um, the, the money problem. So let's go to our new town here and upgrade, change something. Um, it's like this. This should definitely get... Changed. We'll dismantle further. Uh, that's gonna give us Gothic archers. 
Two mana crossbowmen. Got 2300. I can probably recruit. Yeah, the Falksmen are here. Noble, noble Germanic Swordsman. That's really good. 300 coins per turn. Ugh. Uh, this unit, this, mar m m m this, you know what I'm trying to say, this navy is, let's see, 180, 135, 135, so, it's about, well, it's close to a thousand just from that. Dramatic nobles. All right, let's look at this guy. So, the pagans, let them proceed. Um, yeah, I don't see the problem of somebody doing the rituals, um, but I don't know how that's going to affect the nation since. I mean, there's all sorts of religion going on. So if we if we ban them, they might be pissed. A bunch of people will be pissed. So I think we're just gonna uh, let's go back there. We're just gonna allow them do it. It sounds like a stupid thing. But uh, the only thing that can probably happen this way is like uh, some people are unhappy or something. Or they might get more um, Oh, they know they came from the Guthurgians but they don't know how it happened. Interesting. Okay, so this says that they left our faction, so this guy came in. Alright, so let's see, we have 2400, we we're supposed to lose 1800, which would leave us with 600 um, something. And um, yeah, there's the governor that had a skill. Uh, Spotting chance, morale, and this is public order, or a different public order, or just that one, okay. So this guy can maybe get wealth from industrial buildings and a authority. Next time I can do Sentinel, maybe. Yeah. This guy's almost a legend. If I was to have, you know, one here, one here, I can get to the legend. Almost. So, um... We are, we are kind of experimenting, I guess, with these couple of mods, and, and we're getting various results. Uh, <laughs> I like using a few mods because it, it sort of makes the game, um, you know, more towards what, it, it gives a different uh, sort of experience than what they intended to have, but it also just makes it more personal, um, you know, because you can kind of, you know, I, I want to do this, I want to be able to say, hey, you're a struggling nation, Join forces with us, confederate. We'll keep your people safe. Uh, you know, use our money to grow that city, and you know, still have uh, repre rep representation in our government, stuff like that. And that probably happened quite a bit back then. But okay, so we have twenty-one hundred. 
Bitcoin. Before we had 2400. So we're getting we're getting attrition across our land, which is not good. So it's uh, technically it's only losing like 300 coin uh, from everybody. <laughs> so construct city sanitation somewhere. All right, let's do let's do city sanitation here. Farmstead granary is 2300, so we can't build it. That land is there. Well, um, I wonder if if I'd have more money next time. Um, let's do military diploma. Sounds good. Hmm. We're gonna have to split this um battle movement and perhaps or missile yeah, i don't know sounds good heroes of the four winds wonder if I should get rid of some of these guys. Lightboatmen. Archers. Warriors all. Here's what we'll do. We only need, really need where are you? Over here. Um, okay. This is gonna be finished in a torp and then maybe we can build something here. We can develop this land. Chieftain's house. Chieftain hold is royal household. Be nice to have some castle. We get champions from there. Okay. Let's not do that yet. Let's just um, get rid of two more of these guys. All right. Let's see what happens. Um, please do kind of give me your input. I know that a lot of you guys that do watch my content either uh, don't have anything to say or you don't take the time to say it but I don't really care what you write you can be um, supportive you can criticize if you want uh, just try to say it nicely and I'm kind of playing this for fun and sharing it out um, I 
my sort of mentality is that since I have all this hardware anyway and I like playing some video games why not um, why not share it on YouTube and if I can get something extra out of it although the there's like no income so far I'm not getting you know I don't have thousands and thousands of views on each video that's probably when you can say hey I'm making a few extra uh, dollars to like you know there is barely enough money in your treasury to cover costs. You can ensure your provinces are taxed effectively by ensuring their settlements are upgraded to the highest available levels. What? So I got a thousand for constructing a city sanitation, but I didn't actually do that. I do have less money now. Roman separatists were destroyed. Uh, a mission is issued to raid a settlement or trade route belonging to the following Eastern Roman Empire. I might not be able to do that. Uh, the company of brothers are trespassing. We constructed a torp. And uh, an Athanagild had ranked up. So. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this. Alright, so you, you sir are uh, a warlord. You sir are uh, nobody. You... You can be a companion. Theodoric. Uh, you, sir, can be a companion. You are the High King. You can be a tribal chief. You don't have much going on. You can be a judge. And... That is it. Hmm. See who is is this guy that had leveled up. So he's misshapen. He's not an animal, but um, apparently that affects public order. <laughs> And um, scares the animal, the enemy morale if they're in the region. Like holy cow, that guy is ugly. So um, takes down his authority, but I could give him more leader. We're gonna go to here and do like uh, where's the growth? The integrity there, corruption, fatigue, authority, cunning, corruption, costs. I thought one of these was growth. I'm dreaming. Uh, we can... Where are you? In Dardania. We have a construction cost. I think we're building there. And you... Alright, I think you ha also had some, probably, there we go, I couldn't give you a poet. Right. So, we have no idea what is going on with our money. Um, I'm going to continue this episode the way it is, and hopefully when I re... Um, reload we will have yeah I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for the for the castle here chieftain house 1600 It is going to be the royal household 
of our family. And let's see. I mean, obviously we don't have any money for this, but um, let's see how this is. That's still in construction site. This army shouldn't really attack us, but if they do, holy cow, they're elite infantry. <laughs> wow. That's right, I made that noise. Wow. Okay, let's do one more turn for turn's end. There wasn't anyone new that we discovered to trade with. Um, so our income is gonna suck for a while. Hopefully it goes away by itself. It's kind of unexplainable. I mean... I gained maybe expenses of a thousand from the units of what's in that army and, and navy there. Maybe a thousand five hundred. But um, what they... what they gave me was like a negative, you know, four times that, so three times that. Yeah, I won't know what happened. Might never know. It's obviously a bug that's not. Your faction is now bankrupt. Yeah. There is no money left in your treasury, but there are several things you can do to reverse the situation. Raise taxes if possible. Establish further trade agreements and trade routes, or disband unused units. Here we're gonna do political favor here. Secure offices. Uh, the letting them uh, do their sort of you know rituals gain Germanic pagan influence for the next three turns. So uh, not the best thing, but it actually didn't make anyone mad. So that's not a bad thing. Demolition of that ruin building is complete. We encountered Asia. We have population surplus. Well, we cannot build anything, but we will develop the land. Just so we see it there develop. Yeah. Thessalonica is now larger. Let's see what this Asian nation is all about. Oh, Asian nation. They are friendly. They could probably trade welcome, welcome, because of that. My friend. I will give ear to you and give tongue to the people. I'm gonna make 254 coin. Um, looks like the other two nations we could trade with are not very happy with us. So. They went and took that land. Um, and this for me is kind of like a, you know, just a port on on the Black Sea, really. Right. So, the Visigoths I look forward to your are doing okay. Right. Um, although their strength ranking is down there at 31. I don't know what to do about my income, so we'll have to look at that next episode. We, we could disband a few of these guys. I mean, the odds are is that if somebody attacks us, we're going to be screwed anyway. So, um, we can... We could... Give our king... Our the sword units, bow units, horsemen, and onager. And that's... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That should be good. We have, well, we have 7 there. And I guess 3 more of these. Alright. So these guys can be disbanded. And uh, Mr. Vitrick can go back to Viminagium, which is not going to lose public order, but that's okay. Uh, because we can build something here. And this is going to get built and give me public order, so. Um, 
that's all she wrote really we're gonna go over here and we're gonna zoom in and say that is that for this episode uh, perhaps I also don't need the other navy I have and maybe make this navy smaller ready. I don't know I kind of I kind of like having those units available just because uh, next time we're gonna eventually do move out with this navy and and you know see some sights I can't zoom any any further in so we're gonna leave it li like this please do comment hit the like button if you're not subscribed then you watch this far and if you like subscribing because you like the content that I have on my channel uh, please do subscribe looks like some of the uh, buildings in the town here are flooded so um, hope those people are okay uh, maybe that's why I'm losing money because those people are like you know taking their food home but uh, it just gets waterlogged right away so they're like oh crap you gave us bad food what kind of king are you and I'm like well I don't know what happened but here's some more food for free and um, yeah uh, we, acquired <laughs> we acquired Chersonesus and it gave us all sorts of trouble financially we might fix it eventually um, hopefully it fixes itself uh, yeah <laughs> I'm still confused. Like it, it was seriously like a whole bunch of money uh, when I made that switch, that acqu acquisition. So I'll see you guys next time though. Please uh, share this out if you enjoyed it and do take care of yourselves. Bye.